Today, we're breaking down the differences between body on frame and unibody construction. Let's start with the basics. There are two main ways vehicles are built today, body on frame and unibody. Body on frame. This is the old school method. The frame and body are separate and the body is mounted on top of a strong chassis. It's tough, durable, and great for heavy duty work. Unibody. Here, the body and frame are one solid structure. It's lighter, stiffer, and designed for better handling and safety. Advantages of body on frame. One, better off-roading capabilities. Since the frame is separate, it's more durable and can handle extreme terrain without flexing too much. That's why vehicles designed for off-roading use this design. Two, higher towing and hauling capacity. Trucks use body on frame construction because it allows them to handle heavy loads without bending or breaking. The strong, separate frame takes on the weight, making it ideal for towing trailers and hauling cargo. Three, cheaper to build and repair. If the body gets damaged, you can replace or repair just the body without affecting the frame. This makes repairs easier and more affordable. Four, less road noise and better protection from moisture. The separate frame absorbs vibrations, meaning body-on-frame vehicles often have less road noise. Plus, since the body sits higher, it's better protected from moisture and rust. Disadvantages of body-on-frame. One, heavier than unibody. The additional frame adds weight, which reduces fuel efficiency. Two, lower fuel economy. The added weight means these vehicles burn more fuel, making them less efficient than unibody designs. Advantages of unibody. One, improve crash safety due to crumple zones. Crumple zones are strategically designed areas in a vehicle structure that absorb and dissipate impact energy during a collision. They are primarily found in unibody vehicles and play a crucial role in protecting passengers by reducing the force transferred to the cabin. Two, better fuel economy. Because unibody vehicles are lighter, they consume less fuel compared to body-on-frame vehicles. This makes them more environmentally friendly and cost-effective. Three, lower rollover risk. Unibody vehicles sit lower to the ground, meaning they have a lower center of gravity and are less likely to tip over in sharp turns or emergency maneuvers. Four, smoother ride quality. The integrated frame means less flexing, providing better handling and comfort on paved roads. That's why most sedans and crossovers are unibody. Disadvantages of unibody. One, lower towing and hauling capacity. Since the entire structure bears the load, unibody vehicles can't tow as much as body on frame ones. Two, not ideal for off-roading. While some unibody SUVs do have all-wheel drive, they're not as rugged as body on frame trucks. Three, more expensive to repair. If the frame gets damaged in an accident, Repairing a unibody vehicle is much harder and costlier compared to a body-on-frame vehicle. So, which one is better? Well, it depends on your needs. If you're hauling, towing, or hitting the trails, body-on-frame is your best bet. But if you want a smooth ride, better fuel efficiency, and modern safety, unibody is the way to go. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss out on awesome car content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.